You are listening to a series of 10 podcasts on federalism, presented by Citizen U. Episode 2, Explain the Unique American Political Culture. Our founding fathers built a nation upon principled law, not men. Yet our democracy is sustained not only by institutions, but also by culture. Arguably, a unique political culture existed here even before the American Revolution took place. America's political culture provides the essential base upon which our governmental institutions stand. Alexis de Tocqueville, a disinterested Frenchman, said as much when visiting the United States in 1831. In his book, Democracy in America, 1835, he was impressed by our institutions, but more so by the manners and customs of the people. De Tocqueville observed in America a nation of joiners. He saw a civil society filled with an abundance of social capital. James Madison, the father of our Constitution, would have agreed. He said, the very success of democracy depends upon the knowledge and skills of its citizens. As was true back in revolutionary times, so it is today. The American political culture is easily identified and equally important for us to measure. In doing so, we in no small way peer into our collective future. By definition, politics is the means by which governmental decisions are made. In a democracy, this means that governmental decisions are made of, by, and for the people. In any complex society, there are a variety of ideas and beliefs. This is called having a political ideology. There is no shortage of ideological diversity in the United States. But we do share a unique political culture. Our national motto states this simply, E Pluribus Unum. From many, one. The American political culture has always shared certain common traits. From our beginnings, we have valued the rule of law, a limited government, individual liberty, equality of opportunity, not results, and a deep sense of civic duty. Also somewhat unique is our work ethic. Many of these values were present in the Protestant subculture of colonial America. Today, these values are passed more evidently through family structures and educational institutions. Historically, the mortar that holds this common culture together is our sense of self-reliance and trust. Many political scientists lament that as we grow more and more dependent upon government, while trusting them less and less, our American political culture is jeopardized. Many have recognized a serious fissure between religious and secular Americans. This split has been labeled the culture war. The debate between these orthodox and progressive Americans is over what kind of country we want to live in. The orthodox desire a country based upon traditional moral values. Progressives favor more open and libertarian policies. Compromise between these two groups is almost impossible. The outcome of this culture war is a polity divided on most issues. Political scientists worry that such a divide accentuates our pluribus, while forfeiting our unum. Such a recipe does not bode well for a healthy democracy. You are listening to a series of 10 podcasts on federalism, presented by Citizen You.